radical. Viewer discretion is advised. Welcome to Radical Rabbit Fire Comment Response for July 12th through July 18th, 2021. Short comments, quick replies. Hampton Rose. I got the platinum medal. Pikachu spins and gives a peace sign to the camera. Pika Pika. I, I, I don't have the vocal range to really do that well. But here's the deal. I just kind of clipped this and responded to this as a perk. You know, you get some perks, okay? You didn't know that you get some some perks. That's I'm I'm just kind of making up on the fly here. You know, just an appreciation. You know, respect the platinum medalist, Haddington Rose. Hazy Clouds 81. So many people have sold their souls in all kinds of aspects of life. It's sad. I just uploaded about Masters of the Universe. Masters of the Woke Universe. Uh, she master of the universe you know it's sad to see someone like kevin smith just kind of sell himself you know supposedly uh i heard a story he didn't really know about what the show was going to be about uh the thing is he wasn't even really a big fan i think he even made fun of masters of the universe you know which is i mean kind of easy when you look at that yeah 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 what's going on you remember that okay so, yeah, I don't know. I just kind of clipped these. I didn't really have any plan because it's just rapid fire. But it's a funny video. The what's going on, Masters of the Universe. You know, if you haven't seen that, freaking hilarious. But selling your soul, yeah, it's just very sad to see a lot of people, directors, writers, sell their soul for the wokeness. Ragoon Online. I had a dream that Tommy Tellerico gave me an award for Radical Comedy of the Year 2021. It was an Amico-shaped guitar with flames on it. He said to me, you're more like a family member to me than my game's console. Man, oh man, that's a that's a crazy, crazy dream. You know, you're more of a family member to me than his game's console. I just assume that he takes his Amico with him wherever. You know, he just shows off the prototype. Um, an Amico-shaped guitar? How, how would an Amico-shaped guitar, how would that even work? Like, I'm trying to picture that right now. But here's the thing. Tommy Tellerico can't give Radical Comedy the Year awards, okay? He can't do that. Only I can do that. All right? So, I don't know, you know. Now, he can give the, uh, he can give the Intellivision Amico Shill Awards of the Year. You know, I don't know. OEB Pete uh, might get that. Some others in running for that one. Troy Bilko. You have to do John Hancock thumbnail reviews again. They're freaking out of control. It just takes a good bit of time to do those John Hancock or any thumbnail reviews. It takes a while because it's just the way it's kind of set up, you know, for me to actually have to, you know, take the picture and, you know, modify it. And then I think to myself, well, it's kind of awkward because it's not even really like this thumbnail. So I don't know. It's just um, maybe once in a blue moon. Uh, it's not that I wouldn't like to. It's just the way things are kind of currently set up on the channel. Uh, same reason I don't have a lot of uploads with gameplay, because it's just, it takes too much time, you know? The Winged Avenger. So much quality concentrated into one show, and Rick, I say that you, your own words on this video are the Diamond Comet of the Year. See, now you're going into different kind of metals, or different kind of things, you know, talking about Diamond. You know, it'd be kind of interesting if I had a Mandalorian-themed show, or I just changed it to Veskar. A lot of you will understand what I'm talking about. Mandalorian, by the way. Really good show. Really good show. I want to find time to actually work in my thoughts on The Mandalorian, both season one and two, if I can possibly. Logi, I was going to go to bed, but come on. With the title like that, I gotta stay up. Well, it's appropriate you saw it, you know, when it uploaded, because you were one of the people in the running to get comedy of the year, you know? Do the runners up actually you can get that too? Okay, yeah. The runners up were Logic Cost and Rusty Shackelford. You know, so it's kind of want to put that there. Uh, it makes me happy to know that there's certain uploads where people are like, I don't want people to like, you know, lose their jobs or anything, or you know, miss an appointment. But it kind of makes me happy that there's people that are like, you know, I'm sleepy, I'm going to bed. Radical Rick? I got I gotta check this out. You know, it's a cool thought. 
Albert Menendez, congratulations to the platinum title holder. He always brings heat in the comment section, but this was a grand slam. I'm gunning for coming of the year 2021, so I suggest everyone to tighten up. Okay, well, for you to get that, you're going to have to leave more than your milk emojis there, Albert Menendez. You got it. So, I think uh, the medalist actually responded to you that, hey, you could do it. So, this champion is actually a... I mean, that's a good thing, right? This champion is not letting it go to their head. You know, you got the right idea, right? Uh, you know what's going to be you know what's going to be crazy is the comment of the decade. I'm just thinking ahead to the comment of the decade. That's nuts. You know, while I still do the YouTube thing, while I still do this in you know decade. I don't know. Thinking too far ahead, but that that one's going to be legendary. I think for that one, I might give away. And in television, Miko, which will be sought after in a decade, of course. Mark Gordon, look at beat -em ups background in his videos. Not exactly full of notes and drawings. Great point. Great point, Mark. So when he has these uploads, he features, on the P.O. Box, he features, like, the items and everything. I'm not talking about the notes and drawings. No, it's about, like, the games and stuff. I mean, if he actually cared about stuff other in the boxes, the notes and the drawings, like he pretends he cares. If he actually cared about those, wouldn't he have that be like the big finale of a video? You know, the notes, the drawings, and wouldn't they be featured prominently on the outside? No, it's about the stuff he can uh, he can sell pretty much. Tron Razorblade, I saved it. Anytime you mention my name, I get a kick out of it and save the video to my favorites. Yeah, a lot of people uh, have favorites folders, um, and I, I actually checked your favorites folders because I was like, "Are you lying to me, Tron?" So I went and checked, you know, because I was thinking, "Okay, it's just sounds nice and everything to say to, but you actually, you actually did, you know." And I was like, "Aw, that that's 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 something, man," you know. Just like the same feeling I get when Logicos said, uh, "I'm gonna miss some sleep to check out one of your uploads." It gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. Uh, and I checked out one of your liked uploads, which I might get some thoughts on. It's the bearded guy with the glasses talking about how ultimately all men are alone. You know the one I'm talking about. That's an interesting upload. So there's some stuff in your favorites that I might can uh, speak on there, Tron Razorblade. Ragoon Online. I like the lights. Oh boy, howdy do. For real though, the Amico is a really hot console. It's the only family console that helps me make out with my cousin? Listen, here's the thing. You don't need... You don't need an Amico to make out with your cousin. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding, you freaks! I don't advocate making out with your cousin, alright? Jesus, the freaks I get here. Serverbot42. I got an insider tip. It may take a couple years, but Nintendo is going to drop the Switch. What? When did you hear this? They're eventually going to drop the Switch? I thought they were going to run with that console for the end of time. Man, we got some news being dropped right here. Movie madness and entertainment. I was there, played most of the games. It was a lot of fun. Controller was smooth, and the games are very addictive. Great to play with some friends. You know, this might be like on the on the back of the uh, box, the game box actually right here. You know, you kind of, I don't know, the games are very addictive. Like, well, tell me about cornhole. Is cornhole addictive? Like, is that included into the addictive ones? Like, I looked at Shark Shark, and Shark Shark doesn't look addictive, right? I mean, it doesn't look like I would, like, lose sleep and stop eating to play Shark Shark. But maybe that's a good thing. You know, we talked about gaming addiction. I can guarantee you if you had in a television Amico, uh, you really wouldn't be addicted to playing games. This is my thoughts on it. So it's probably a good thing. Dumez, those Tiger games are shit. They were shit new and they are shit today. Anyone buying these today is a sucker and stupid. The Tiger games, they have a, a cool, interesting look to them. I like the art. Uh, they just have an interesting look to them. But the problem is when you fire them up, I mean, the sound 
the so-called graphics? I mean, that shit, no. 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 Why, why would you why would you really play the Tiger games? Why? Like, the worst Game Boy game is better than, like, a Tiger game. I just, I don't see, I don't see the appeal these days. I mean, maybe, like, back in, back decades ago, when there wasn't a Game Boy, or was the Game Boy out before the Tiger stuff came out? Anyways, I don't know. Like, I get the appeal from the look of them. They look interesting. They look pretty cool, actually, with the art specifically around the screen. But no, like, why? Why? If you're thinking about getting, like, a, a cache of Tiger games, then just get an Amico. The Amico is far more entertaining, I'm sure, than the Tiger games. So, one point for Amico versus the Tiger games. 90G, what's up with you, boy? Smash that like button. Check out the merch. Stand in front of a huge shelf of shit that never moves, so it clearly doesn't get played. As a man having a really crap beard usually works. For the, for the women, just flash those titties in a low cut top. Have a PO box address. Yeah, women have it easy. Uh, well, I mean, just in generally in life too, in certain ways. I mean, yeah, they got to do the childbirth thing, and yeah, they got the administration. But when it comes to actually controlling men, uh, with those sacks of meat they have on their chest, yes, it's pretty pretty easy to control men. And there's a lot of uh, YouTubers you could actually like point out that I mean they know what they're doing. They could use the argument, well, I just want to be comfortable, like, I just want to be comfortable. No, if there's a donate button involved, and specifically if they live stream to know exactly what they're doing if they doing if they have the girls out. Now, I mean, I'm not against that. Like, I'm not against uh, them being out. You know, the more they're out, the better. I like them. But I just let's just be honest, uh, if they're doing that during live streaming, they know exactly what they're doing.